Hi! Today I'm using the Stampin' Up! Timeless Love stamp set and watercoloring to demonstrate a card that will make your heart smile. I'm so glad you're joining me today. Welcome to StampingSmiles.com. I'm Shelly Godby, the owner and CEO of Stamping Smiles, and for 16 years I've been teaching others how to create their own hand stamp smiles. Some of my stampers have said to me, Shelly, you make watercoloring look so easy. Well, it is because I use an aqua painter. Let me show you how. Here's a closer view of the Timeless Love stamp set with beautiful sprays of flowers, a couple greetings you'd expect in a stamp set named Timeless Love, Happy Anniversary, Congratulations, and You Make My Heart Smile. And we're going to be using that stamp today, and we're going to be watercoloring. So let's start with some Whisper White Thick cardstock. The Whisper White Thick cardstock has the same finish as the Whisper White cardstock, and that finish is designed to take ink for beautiful stamped images. And because we're going to be watercoloring, we're going to use the Basic Black Archival Stampin' Pad. This is a permanent ink and it won't bleed when we do the watercoloring. So we're going to push, flip, and lock that lid into place. So let's start with the greeting. We're going to ink this up. Okay, and this is looking good. Press straight down. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted. And then our spray of flowers. This one that's going to go around the corner. And so we're going to ink this up. and the stamp, look, it's got a little notch there so I can see where I'm putting it, and I want it to go right around here. Oh, isn't that pretty? Mm, mm, mm. All right, and so we're done with the basic black, so we can go ahead and close this, pull on that lip, clip, and click. So now we're going to watercolor, and we're going to use the aqua painter. Love this. This controls the water. That's why it's so easy to color. You fill this reservoir with ordinary tap water. Okay, and so I'm going to have a, just a paper towel here. I'm going to take this cap off, and when I'm ready to color, I squeeze to get the water going, and then I wipe off the excess. All right, so let's go ahead and start with our beautiful um, petals. I'm using the water. Watermelon Wonder Classic Stampin' Pad. This is one of the 2015-2017 in colors, and they're going to be retiring soon. So to watercolor, I press with the palm of my hand, I'm pressing that, the ink pad, into the lid, and look at all the color that comes in here. So this is all ready to go. We're going to come over here and pick up some color. Now, I would like to do what I call as a wash first. I like it a little bit thinner, so let's just squeeze a little bit of water into there. There we go, and thin this out. Step over here and just get off a little bit of that excess. Okay, now let's pick this up and put down first, a, like I said, a wash, a light. And look at that. This is a nice bright color and it depends how much you thin it, you know, the different shades you can get from one ink pad. Very cool. Okay, I'm going to get this a little bit darker Come over here. And just fill those in. Now the aqua painters, they you get a set of two with two different tips. I'm using the finer one because I'm in a small area. Okay, and so I on purpose left some of the area white. Some of my favorite um, watercoloring when I see um, they do, they leave that. And now I picked up a little bit of darker color because we could have just stopped right there, but now I have the opportunity to do some shading going along these lines. And then it tends to be darker the color, closer to the center. So had I just left it, you know, it would have, you would have thought, oh, what a pretty card. This just gives us, like I said, that opportunity to play. And you just feel your heart rate lower as you, as you watercolor, because it's so peaceful. Oh my goodness, isn't that pretty? And if you wanted to, if you thought, well, I don't want quite that much white, we could just always go and add a little bit more in. Okay. I'm liking the white, so I'm going to stop myself and look right here. I want to come, there we go, around this center. Okay, now I'm just playing and having a really good time. All right, fantastic. I think we're done with that. And so because we're done with the pad, let's go ahead and flip it and then click. You know it's closed. Okay, before moving on to another color, let's go ahead and squeeze again and wipe off that color. And you want to do it. That's a dark color. We want to keep wiping until it comes clean. There we go. It's 
good and clean now. So now we're ready to move on. And let's use the delightful Dijon for the center of our flowers. This is another one of the 2015-2017 in colors. Now they are going to be retiring very soon. So if you like any of these colors, you're going to want to get over and order them right away. And if you already have um, the classic Stampin' Pads in the five colors, make sure you get the ink refills so you'll be able to use these pads for a long, long time. And cardstock, because anything in the 2015-2017 in colors will be retiring. Any embellishments, including ribbon and, and anything like that, as well as any of the designer papers. So look, we just filled the center of our flowers so quickly and easily. There we go. And then our next color, well, Cucumber Crush. Yep, you guessed it. It's one of the 2015-2017 in colors. Such a pretty collection. All right. All right, so we need to clean this again. There we go. Get off that excess. Look, nothing else is coming off. We've got just the right amount. So let's come over here and pick up some color. And once I, I don't know if I said that, once I squeeze, I quit squeezing. I am not squeezing at all. I'm just holding on to it because it's just putting out the perfect amount of water for me. Let's go along here. Here we go. And when you're watercoloring, don't try to be perfect. That's what's so fun about it. You know, you can go outside the lines. You know, look at some samples. You're going to see how imperfect they are. And that's what adds to the charm. So what I'm doing, I'm picking up a little bit of darker color. I'm going to go along the veins. And just do a little bit of shading. There we go. Isn't that pretty? All right, so we'll close that up. And then one thing I want to show you, something that's fun to do, all right, just to add some more dimension to it, is to put a shadow around it. And a couple colors are good, um, the crumb cake and smoky slate. And I thought that would look so good with, with the watermelon wonder and, and all that. So let's just get a little bit of color into that lid. There we go. And we cleaned that off. Let's just come over here and pick some up and just follow along. And so it's subtle, but boy, it's a, a fun, and with this, look how quick this is to do. Just following along. Hmm. Here we go. I don't always remember to do this, but when I do, I really like it. There we go. So now we have that shadow around there. Isn't that pretty? Right, so let's close this up. And that's watercoloring with an aqua painter. So very easy. And it's just fun how you can do all that shading, how easy it is. So now we need to go ahead and put our card together. Oh, one more thing I want to do before that. Hey, we've got this area down here. I left that on purpose so I could tie some ribbon around here. This is the Watermelon Wonder 5 8 inch mini stripe ribbon. Isn't this pretty? So like I was saying, the accessories, because this is Watermelon Wonder, we know without a doubt It'll be retiring. I mean, we'll know for sure on April 10th everything that's retiring, 2017. Um, but there are some things that we just know, you know, like the, the in colors, the 2015, 2017 in colors, and anything that has that color in it. All right, so we're going to tie this around. And I'm just going to do a knot, not a bow. Okay. And so um, other things that probably will retire. I mean, designer series paper. It is, I think I've only seen once in my 16 years where a designer series paper carried over. And uh, so that's a really good guess that those will be going. And uh, now some of, one of the uh, designer papers that has a tendency to carry over are the stacks of the color collections. You know, the brights and the regals and the subtles and all that. But these tend to have a two year shelf life. And we've had the patterns for two years. So I'm thinking they're probably on the short list too. So instead of just cutting this at an angle, this time I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm folding this in half and you want it right in half. Okay. And we're going to make a little fishtail. So we're going to cut this at an angle. Isn't that pretty? Let's go over here and do the same thing. Okay. I tend to always do the, the angle, and I like that look too, but for this I thought, oh, I think this will be really pretty. And look, that just adds a nice little element to it. 
pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay. And so with your ribbon, when you tie it around, you can move it, you know, if it's not quite where you want it, you can just slide it up. And so we're going to put this on a base of Watermelon Wonder. And I'll have all the measurements. There'll be a link to my blog post with this card. I'll have all the measurements there. So instead of just putting on a square, we're going to do it cattywampus. But before we do that, let's dress it up a little bit with some designer series paper. Isn't this pretty? I, I have a thing for polka dots. So this are black polka dots on white. And this is from the Pop of Pink designer series paper, uh, especially Two of the patterns are gold um, metallic, very nice gold foil. And, uh, and for the others, on one side you've got a black and white, and on the other, um, a pop of pink Melon Mambo with the black. Okay, so we're going to use some Fast Fuse adhesive to adhere this. Put our finger where the ridges are. Such a really good adhesive. like this stuff a lot. Okay, and so because we're going to put that on cattywampus this way, let's put this a little cattywampus. Just dressing it up a little bit. Okay, oh, pretty. Once I'm happy, I press because that's a really good hold. And so now because we have the ribbon on here, it's not going to allow the cardstock to lay flat against the paper. You know, it's a very good adhesive that fast fuse when it can lay flat, but when it can't, we want something a little stronger. Mini glue dots would be a great option, or Stampin' Dimensionals. I just, it's amazing what these little foam dots, how much they can dress up a card. So let's go ahead and use these. I'm going to put one in each corner. Okay, fantastic. And I probably have said this before, but watercoloring is my favorite technique. I just love it. The, the look is just so remarkable and so easy. Okay, and so what I'm doing now is I'm taking my thumb, pressing in the center, and that makes the edges of that backing just pop right up and makes it easy to peel it off. There we go. So let's set this on. A little cattywampus too, and there we go. With a card that will make your heart smile. If you'd like to make my Timeless Love card to make some hearts smile too, all the supplies are listed under the video and available to order in my online store, www.shopwithshelly.com. How long all those products will remain available? Well, you know, starting April 10th, they could run out any time, and the in colors possibly sooner. So get on over now to my online store, www.shopwithshelly.com. I'm Shelly Godby, teaching you how to create handstand smiles. Thanks for watching.